Hi there, my name is Errol Lawson. Thank you for coming to the blog today. Uh, I'm really excited about today's video blog, uh, our weekly blog. Um, if you don't know, I'm an author. I'm the author of From the Postcode to the Globe, How to Overcome Limitations and Realize Your Potential. And I'm a school speaker and, uh, and also a transition coach. Now, a transition coach is someone who helps people get unstuck. If you feel stuck in any area of your professional or personal life, I help you get clarity and get unstuck and move yourself forward. In these next few weeks, we're talking about how you can coach yourself to success. I'm going to share with you in each weekly blog some tools, some techniques, some things to help you to coach yourself to success. Now today I want to go through the topic of change. I'm asking the question or I'm sharing about how change really happens. All the time I get people coming to me saying, Errol, I need to change this or change that or change him or change her. Uh, but I want to really um, break down how change really happens. There are three components of change I want to share about. And the number one thing is this. You can see my diagram here, um, three circles, all right? got three circles, and in the intersecting part of these three circles is the word change. There are three key things that we need to have in place if we're going to see a change happen. The first one is this, it's desire. In this circle here, I'm writing desire because... For any change to happen, there has to first of all be a desire to change. It's, if it's for yourself, you're going to really want it deep down in your heart. You're going to have a desire that you, are, you want to change this area of your life, this habit, this addiction, whatever it might be. There has to be a desire to change. Furthermore, if there's somebody else, maybe you're in a relationship right now, and you want to change that person, their habits, their ways, their behaviors, hey, listen, they're not going to change without them first having an internal, intrinsic desire to change, all right? There has to first be a desire, a want to change. The second thing is this, for change to happen, I believe that there needs to be a, a belief. There needs to be a belief. So you've got desire and you've got belief. You've got, got to have a belief that actually I can change. You've got to believe to yourself that, you know what, I can do it. I believe I've got a desire to change, but I also believe that I can change. You see, the desire without the belief that you can change will leave you in just a place of desire, perhaps frustration, and living in a place of going through the status quo, nothing actually really happening. Desire is one thing, but you've got to believe in your heart that actually, though I have a desire, I also believe that I can change. I am capable of change. I've got the capacity for change. I can do it. Desire, then belief. The third thing is this. It's benefit. Desire, belief, and benefit. You've got to believe that the change you're going to make is beneficial to you. You've got to believe that the outcome of this change is in my favour. If I make this change, I've got a desire for it. I believe I can do it. But I've got to have, believe that actually the change will benefit me, make my life better, improve my life in some way, shape or form. Now the reality for many of us is this, is that we've got a desire. Maybe there's a desire there and we think, you know what, I ought to change, I should change and... I believe I can change actually if I, if I change, you know, I, I believe I, I've got the ability or the tools or the people around me to help me change. But for many of us, we get to that benefit place, it's like, you know, well, what's the big deal? If I do change, what am I going to do instead? I'm going to be stuck and doing some other, something else. And, and so rather than step into this place of change, we get stuck. We get stuck somewhere here and our lives are going around in the same old, same old, doing the same old stuff, getting the same old negative results and, and the status quo and nothing actually changing. I think Einstein called it insanity, didn't he? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting to get a different result. Listen, maybe you're stuck right now in one of these three areas, either desire, belief or benefit, and you need some help to get you past this stage. This is where I come in. I'm a transition coach. I help coach people just like yourself who need a bit of motivation, some support, some clarity about how they can make changes in their life to see them reach their full potential. Maybe I can help you. Maybe I'm the coach for you. Why not drop me an email to errol at errolawson.com or come and check out the website errolawson.com for more information. But I'd love to have a chat with you and find out more, all right? So maybe those three things again, it's about desire, belief, and benefit.
Thank you for listening. My name's Errol Lawson. See you next time.